Hi, my name is Donald Hardesty, 34. I want to do part two about my homeless life. Anyway, I used to sleep in branches and trees like this at nighttime because at nighttime this is really dark and no one can see. Basically, um, during the day, I didn't do nothing but just sit around like this or spare some change. So usually it'd be the hat, you know, spare some change and uh, passerbys that just come in and drop. The thing is, it's gotten to the point where uh, you don't get enough money or whatnot. So people, you know, take stuff like this and they throw it away. And like this trash here. I don't even know what's in it. Actually, nothing's in it. But anyway, I would pick up trash like that, hoping that it's food and stuff. And uh, I don't know, I just go to parks and stuff. But anyway, like I was saying in my last video, there would be programs and stuff that people would go to so they can have living programs and other programs that would help out with rent and utilities. It'd be like a one-time thing, but there'd be other programs that would help out with jobs, job searches and stuff, so the money could keep on coming. And for me, when I was growing up, it wasn't that a lot. I had to collect cans and bottles and hopefully it was enough. In Oregon itself, you can get five cents a can. So more than likely, you know, one person throws a can away, another person collects it for the five cents. You know, just like pennies, they add up to a dollar, five cents adds up to five. And that's enough to at least feed one person, if not three. My personal experience, it was two me and my mom. We was living in parks and if it wasn't for the fact that we had friends, we wouldn't have food, we wouldn't have money, we wouldn't have a place to stay. They'd give us enough money to for one night at a motel and me and my mom would have to go out to the street corners spare and change for weeks on end just so we wouldn't have to face the streets again. And then when we did, we was fresh and new, like new clothes or or fresh clothes, but other than that, when it comes to schooling, I had to camp outside the school property so I'd be on time. The first bell rang, it was like my wake up call. I'd wake up, I'd go to school, I'd sneak my mom some of my lunch, and then I'd be go back to school for the rest of the day. I did that, and then I had a part-time job as maintenance man. Well, that right there would feed me and my mom for the rest of the day because of lunch. There was a lot of people throwing stuff away. The thing is, you, you look at that and you think, why would you do that? Because people would throw away milk not even open, sandwiches not even touched. They brought their own lunches and that's what would they, they would throw away. Sometimes you need a little pick-me-up. You're homeless, you don't have money, so you go into a Starbucks and sometimes you can ask for a sample cup. The sample cup comes like this. It's basically the house blend. You get one of those and then you're good to go. And sometimes if you're in a big place like uh, Manhattan, New York, you can go into several Starbucks, get cups like this, and fill a cup like this. But anyway, when it came down to it. Me and my mom had a blowout back in I think 92 or whatnot. I had up and left. I wanted to be by myself. Basically because she couldn't give me enough money for the drugs that I wanted. So I went to other places. The only places I would go to is the drugs were free. If I had to pay for it, I'd move on. I'd steal things for it. I'd rip rob and no I wouldn't rape to get it. And when it came down to it, drugs was my only purpose from moving from place to place. I met people online, and then I put it a purpose to move closer to them. I'd meet these people. That was my purpose for traveling, but it wouldn't be a, a perfect purpose because I would purposely mess up the relationship so I had to travel somewhere else. For me, it's like I'm on top of the world. If you remember the Titanic, she was like this, wasn't she? I believe I can fly. But anyway, I believe how to fall too. I mean, everybody is just a paycheck away from being homeless themselves. But they got friends, families, relatives, and there's programs out there that they can look into to get them off the streets. The reason why we have this problem with the streets now is because back in the day, they didn't have programs. They didn't have groups like Crossroads or AA groups or NA. They didn't have, you know, pick-me-ups. And throughout the years, people have been dropping off the face of the earth, so to say, the society turning their backs on the homeless because they have all these programs but no one's using them. Probably because most of the homeless people don't know about these places. You gotta reach out, you gotta tell them about that. And for me, the only reason I can stand here right now and say I used to be homeless and I've been homeless for 12 years is for the simple fact that I did go to a program. I went to the crossroads and I stayed there for six months. They got me at rehab. I was getting off of drugs. I was drinking a lot. I don't do that no more. And from there, I went to a 
independent living program. And then from that, they got me up to having a job. I went to day labor for 16 months before I can get my first apartment. And when I did go, I worked at different places. I worked construction, I worked Walmart. Walmart was the one that got me my place and got me up on my feet. And if it wasn't for living homeless or w wasn't for this and wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I am now. And what I am now is married, happily married. And this is me, Donald Hardesty 34. And this is, what's your username again? Sano Sesha. Saying, have a crazy wacky day from her and stop living in the past. Live in the future. Bye now.